to 2021. Happy New Year and welcome to the first episode of BAA Bell Arts Attractions for this new year. We hope you've had a lovely time. We've had a great break and isolated and rested and now we're all doused in antibacterial stuff. So don't worry about us. We are your bi-weekly guide to some of the arts going on in Belgrade. And I'm your host, Wayana. If you didn't recognize me, I've done a little bit of a Britney since last time you saw me. And I'll be guiding you through some of the, the latest events that we have found. And luckily there are still things going on, things that can entertain us. And this is just to give you a taste and get your art juices flowing. So before we get to it, please subscribe if you like what we do and hit that bell to be notified of um, notified of our next video and our next one's coming up this Sunday so we do it twice a week and uh, comment what you'd like to see or if you know of any exhibitions that you think that would be useful for us to share with everyone please email us at I have to remind myself the emails again bellartsattractions at gmail.com or our Serbian section belgradeartnews at gmail.com so let's get to it So this weekend in theatre we have the premiere of a play called Kao da kraj nije ni sasvim blizu, which means as if the end is not even close. And of course we don't believe that the end is close. This is going to be held at the Bitev Theater on Terazie 29 this Friday. It starts this Friday on the 15th of January and it runs throughout the weekend on Saturday and Sunday too, 16th and 17th of January. And there are going to be three showings per day. So at 3 p.m., 5 p.m. and 7 p.m. And tickets are a thousand dinars and you get 10% if you book online. Now the reason why there are three, um, three plays a day is because there are only five audience members allowed per play of this court for obvious reasons. But let me tell you what it's about. So, is is about uh, exploring the subtle transfer of the world relationships and human interactions into digital reality. So something that we've kind of been experiencing right now in these intense times. And what it aims to do is to rethink the coexistence of uh, man and machine. Um, so the audience of five will experience a virtual journey into these worlds and what else does it say about it? Virtual journey through the possible new worlds around and within ourselves. So I think it's great if, if you're the kind of person that has a little bit of anxiety about sort of, you know, what's going to happen next, what can we expect? I think this is a great play to explore those themes and then kind of have a little bit more certainty going forward. So uh, catch that one out. And if there's any text, it will probably be in Serbian, but I think you'll kind of get the general gist of things. This week, we've got an exhibition with a little bit of a twist. So it's being held at a place called The Wild Kitchen on Skadarska 49, this Friday, 16th of January. Uh, from 6 p.m. to 8 p.m. The exhibition is called Manifestatia Drveta, which means Manifestations of the Tree, and it's hosted by the Kolosev, I keep forgetting this, Kolosev Neural Studio. What's going to happen at this opening is there's going to be an artist that's going to use 100 litres of paint to pour over some redwood logs. So that's going to be really, really cool. And afterwards, you'll be invited to see other objects that they've done. I don't know whether it's going to be in this way, but there's going to be lots of um, murals, objects, uh, sculptures and things like that. Um, paintings, installations. Yeah, so that one's a little bit of a twist. I thought it was going to be about cooking, really, because it's in the wild kitchen. But hey, we're always up for surprises, aren't we? See you there. So this week in film, we've got something really cool, as usual. 
uh, which is hosted by the Gay and Lesbian Solidarity Network here in, in Belgrade. And it's the sixth film screening this year with uh, a discussion that follows it. So this Saturday, uh, this Saturday, 17th of January from 6 p.m., uh, there will be a film, The Boys in the Band. This film is from the 1970, not to be confused with Netflix one that's on right now. And this will, the showing will be at Ostavinska, which is on Kraljevice Marka 8. Now the film is about a group of friends, uh, one of which whom is celebrating a birthday and obviously they're all there. But an unexpected guest arrives and that unexpected guest triggers a lot of um, tacit truths and feelings amongst everyone. And what the film tries to explore is where have we gone in 50 years of homosexual relations and place in society? Has, um, what have we achieved? What has changed? Well, what has stayed the same? Uh, what's great is that there's going to be a discussion afterwards, so that's going to be a great thing to explore outside of the film. Now, the film is in English, but there's going to be Serbian subtitles. As far as the discussion goes, uh, it will most probably be in Serbian, but since a lot of people speak English, I'm sure there'll be space for some discussion in both languages. So, have a look. I think it's going to be great. <laughs> No classical music this week. It's all about the EDM vibes. So this Saturday, once again, for all you daytime ravers, i.e. mums and dads and just people that want to sort of continue their parties into the early hours, there will be some kind of like nightclub thing called Half to Hours, which is held, it's gonna be held at Belgrade's newest EDM club called Half. Now, DJs Peter P and Branko V, no, Branko Vukovic are going to entertain you. Um, it will start at 6 a.m. until midday, so great for some morning dancing. But maybe you should just do it sort of your morning walk, you know? Go in and, and you know, just boogie around. I know boogie's a bit old fashioned. Anyway, um, there's going to be lots of safety measures in place, so I'm guessing you're going to have to wear your masks and there'll also be temperature reading at the entrance. Uh, tickets are 500 dinars and did I miss anything? Yes, so there's limited entry, so try and get there early if you want to have a chance to kind of get a bit of that, you know, the nightclub feeling back, but during the day. And the address, I didn't tell you. Um, the EDM club half is at Bolevar Vojvode Vojavice 10. Bye! So if you're looking for something that will give you a different type of positive energy this week, this Saturday, everything's on Saturday this week, Saturday 16th of January, uh, there will be uh, Veche with Stefan Simic, an evening with Stefan Simic. And this evening is about poetry, readings, lighthearted laughter, and just kind of a generally relaxed atmosphere. It's going to be held at Cafe Bar Choice, which is on Mackenzie Ever 67, and it starts at 5.30 p.m. So yeah, enjoy that one. It's a worthwhile choice. Well, this is it for our first episode of 2021. We hope you enjoyed it as much as I did, as much as we all did. And it'd be great if you could get involved and comment on what you'd like to see. Uh, my director would personally like to see the boys in the band and compare it to the Netflix film out now. I personally would love to see the EDM or go. I mean, I'm not going to really see, I'm just going to experience if I can get up at six. Maybe I'll just stay awake the whole night and just kind of you know, finish it off there. So that's what we want to see. What do you want to see? Comment below. 
please subscribe if you enjoy what we're doing and if you've got any tips for us and slap that bell if you want to get notifications when we've got new videos out twice a week don't forget um what else what else yes yeah if you want to send us an email uh email us at bellartattractions at gmail.com or a serbian section belgrade art news at gmail.com i've been your host boyna and from all of us at baa we just want to say thank you for watching us and may 2021 be better than last year come on it's got to be we're gonna try and yeah support the arts stay safe you know douse yourself in antibacterial stuff you know the the the, the deal and we'll see you on our next episode bye right that's me off upgrading <laughs>